Siddharth Kapoor, from, who's the founder of Learnio, will now take the stage and talk about branding and marketing in Indian schools. Uh, before I start, I should introduce myself. I'm Siddharth Kapoor. Uh, I, uh, I'm also part of a school. I'm an educational like, uh, educator like all of you. Uh, my, it's a family-run school, and while doing that school, we <coughs> learn a lot about marketing and branding. Well, actually, the word that I've used here is building reputation, trust, and respect because traditionally marketing and branding is something that keep away from education. But what's is, what is, is, is uh, so uh, I'll dive into this presentation directly. So start with the obvious, uh, nothing is more valuable to a school than a positive and strong reputation. Or in other words, respect for the school or trust in the school or of course the brand of the school. So most of what I'm going to tell you uh, is pretty obvious and uh, for most of you it may not be something new but I hope I give you a different perspective. So uh, so the question is uh, what is reputation? It is such an intangible. Is it the, the building or the infrastructure? Is it the, are these your, the teachers, your faculty, your teacher profiles? Or is it the resources that you provide at your schools? Is it word of mouth? Is it the curriculum that you have in your school? Or the stories in the media which includes social media? Or is it the respect for the teacher efforts, the, the, what happens in the, inside the classroom? The parent engagement that happens uh, in various ways? Or is it the trust in the pedagogy that is employed in the school? So the question is, what makes parents choose your school? There's a lot of things here, and I've tried to present all of this in a very simple model, which I call, uh, I don't call, which is called the Golden Circle by Mr. Simon Sinek. And it says that all uh, entities have, all enterprises have a what and how and a why. And uh, in the case of a school, and this is what I've derived from there, in the case of a school, the what is of course the infrastructure, the location, the building, the labs, the how uh, is the teaching methods, the curriculum, the processes, the events, the calendar that you have. And the why is why do you exist, the mission, or what do you believe in as a school. Now, the thing is that most enterprises work from outside to in. As, as schools, we have brochures, we have websites, we talk about this, we have this, we have that. Uh, many of the progressive schools are focusing on the how. We try to we try to present the how also to, to the to the parents. This is what we do in the classroom. Uh, we have been listening to a lot of how today, the pedagogy, the class, uh, the the processes. But most schools are most schools are rather most enterprises are a little fuzzy about what do we believe in? Why do we exist? Why does this enterprise exist? So I'll start with a very simple example, taking the example of uh, Apple. So how many of you, just show of hand, how many of you own an Apple device or have used an Apple device? Okay, fair number. So if Apple was like any other company and it was working from outside in, this is what they will say. We make great computers, they're beautiful design. Uh, we make great computers, that's the what. They're beautiful design, simple to use and user friendly, that's the how. And of course the how, uh, uh, the why is fuzzy and one by one. But what actually Apple does is this. We start with the why. Everything we do, we believe in challenging status quo. We believe in thinking differently. The way we challenge the status quo is, be, is by making our products beautifully designed, simple to use, and user friendly. And we happen to make great computers, one by one. Which one is more interesting and attractive? The second one, obviously. That's, that's Apple. Another example, Uber. We use, most many of you use Uber. So the, the why for Uber is because it's painful to be stranded without easy access to reliable transportation. Now, it nowhere says it's a taxi company. It nowhere says it owns cars. It actually doesn't own cars. It doesn't say it's a smartphone app, nothing. It's, it's a very clear why, very clear articulation. And of course, after you have cleared the why, 
the how and the what comes, but people buy the why. Why is the purpose, the cause of what you believe in? What you as an enterprise, as a school believe in? The how and the what comes later and serves as a tangible proof of the why. When why, how and what are aligned, trust, loyalty and reputation or the brand develops. So coming back to our example, uh, our, our situation in the schools, the what, of course, uh, are the brochures, the website, the report cards, the grades. The how is the, of course, after you have clarified the why, the how and the what is what actually tangibilizes, what helps us to tangibilize or make tangible what we are doing in the school and because why is such an intangible thing this is the only way we can make it tangible so uh, the how is of course exhibitions in PTCM or uh, student conferences or other events and a lot of progressive schools are also sharing photos uh, they are taking photos and videos inside the classroom uh, we do alumni stories, we do parent stories, we do events But what happens is that all the things that happen in the classroom, parents miss out on most of them. We do, we do try and share some of them, not most schools do, many schools try to do that. But parents are parents miss out on all these wow learning moments, the learning experiences, the activities. So something like this, I, I believe you have scenes like this in your schools as well. So these are activities that are happening in the classroom, but parents never get to see this. You might be taking pictures and videos. Uh, I'm sure many of you put it on social media. These are again uh, the similar stuff put on Facebook. Uh, by a show of hands, how many of you have WhatsApp groups for classes where they are showing the sh pictures and videos? Okay, with WhatsApp groups we have another problem, privacy. Broadcasting. Broadcasting. <laughs> what if a parent sends a comment? If it's a common group, parents can also comment in. Sometimes that could be a problem. The phone numbers are available to everyone. Your teachers don't have privacy. Their mobile numbers are also available to everyone. Broadcasting, as you rightly said, and but but more important than that, there's no privacy. Uh, uh, as, a, as a as a as a father, I wouldn't want my child's picture to be shown by to shown to the rest of the world. And when those photographs or videos are shared, they're generally shared in bulk. We just end up sharing 10 photographs or 10 videos or more, or something similar on a Facebook page. As a parent, I'm trying to look for my child's photograph. I don't know where that is. It could be maybe the seventh or the eighth photograph. So, as a school, we saw these problems, and uh, we've been trying to find a solution for the last four or five years, and we ended up developing a mobile app for ourselves, which was just more of a pilot thing that we did in our school, and it just evolved into something nice that I want to share with you right now. So we call it Learnio, that's the name of the app, and the whole idea is to build respect, trust, and reputation or the brand for the school. As you can see on the right side, uh, it's a little cropped right now, but the, the whole idea is that uh, it's an app which allows teachers to take these pictures and videos and upload them, but before uploading, they tag these kids. And a photograph, if it has three students doing an activity, this photograph gets pushed to only those three parents not the whole class group, not the whole school community, not the rest of the world, just those three parents and then it's the parents choice do they want to share it further or not. Similarly with videos and similarly with events or upcoming events or anything else, what is pushed to the parent is only what is relevant to the parent. So it gives a lot of convenience, it gives a lot of privacy and at the same time it engages the parent and you as a school get a chance to showcase your how. You as a school get a chance to showcase your pedagogy, which is what, uh, what actually tangibilizes why the school exists. The, 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 the why, the, the, sorry, uh, the pedagogy that you employ in the classroom, uh, the various programs that you do in the classroom, you get to showcase this to your parents in a very engaging and a private way. So this is the same thing. Of course, uh, as Indian parents, we have a tendency to ask our kids at home, what did you do in school today? What did you learn in school today? Ask school kya sikha? So instead of asking that question, we want them to start, they, they already have an info, the information in hand, they already know what has happened in the classroom. They start off by talking about this activity you did in class today and this is how it happened and this. So they goes one step further, so better support at home. 
privacy, and of course, happy parents. I'll just skip through this. Uh, the most important thing is, is learning is not built by software developers or a tech company. It's built by educationists. We understand what happens inside the school, and this is what we're trying to do. 